Welcome on God's Peace to you. I'm Pastor Zachariah Shippen. And I'm Pastor Emily Shipman. We serve the Northwest United Lutheran Parish in the towns of Crosby, Ambrose, Alamo, and Wild Rose, North Dakota. It is our prayer as you watch this video that you would hear God's word for your life today and that your faith in God will grow. May you come to know God's love for you more and more each day. <laughs> the first reading comes from Acts 4, 5 through 12. The next day, the rulers, elders, and scribes assembled in Jerusalem with Annas and the highest priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and all who were of the highly priestly family. When they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, By what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we question today because of all good deed done to someone who was sick, sick and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is a stone that was rejected by you, the builders. It has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm, Psalm 23. <coughs> the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures, and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. To prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The second reading, John 3:16. We know by this that Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him. Whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God. We receive him whatever we ask because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is the commandment that we should believe in, the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he has commanded us. And all who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the spirit that has given us the word of the Lord. The gospel today comes from John, the 10th chapter. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. warm in here.
Well, before this morning in Ambrose, I'd only ever really led services in West Prairie at my own church, so this is uh, something new for me. But anyway, um, I'll begin with, with prayer. Mm-hmm. Heavenly Father, may the words of my mouth and meditation of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight. And may these people hear what you want them to hear, regardless of what I might say. Amen. Well, today, the gospel starts out, and Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. And that's very comforting, and it sounds really nice, until I thought about it a little bit, and and I thought, that makes me a sheep. And I really don't like the idea of being a sheep very well. Um, Sheep aren't very tough or cool, and um, when they were coming up with mascots for Divide County, I'm sure the guy that suggested the sheep didn't get many votes. it wouldn't, it wouldn't, wouldn't go over very good, you know, the Divide County sheep going down to the Watford City Wolves or somewhere like that. Oof. But, um, and I have another example. A, a neighbor of mine, he used to uh, truck livestock, and uh, they were trying to load sheep one time, and a guy had asked him, he said, how do you get sheep in the trailer? And he said, oh, sheep are easy. You just grab the first one, walk it up the ramp, throw it in the truck, and get out of the way. So, because <laughs> sheep, are, sheep are followers. And uh, we, we have a problem with this because uh, we like to think of ourselves as uh, independent and self-sufficient. You know, if something breaks, we can fix it. And the rugged individual American spirit that we all think this country was built on. Um, and it's, it's a problem because we really are a lot more like sheep than we uh, care to admit. Um, none of us have... Yeah, real control over our, our lives. Um, Jesus said, you know, he lays down his life to take it up again. Um, none of us can do that, um, take our lives up again anyway. And uh, if I had any real control, I would be in the field by now. So, and, and all my calves would have survived. <laughs> so anyway, um, no, I, I, the, the Psalm 23 is one that probably many of you are quite familiar with. A lot of us memorized it in in confirmation or Sunday school or something. Um, And in in one place it says, I will fear no evil. And I kind of find that interesting because I've been told before not to be afraid. And it's not like I could just say, okay, I'm not going to be afraid. It doesn't doesn't work that way. Um, For God to... uh, alleviate our fears and to comfort us, um, it takes a lot of prayer and it takes a lot of uh, faith in, in Him. Um, it's, it's kind of a, a process. Um, and yet, I've seen it happen where people in very rough times have, have um, walked by still waters and through green pastures, even um, amidst great suffering. Um, a lady I know, she just lost her husband kind of abruptly, and, and uh, everyone was, of course, concerned about her, and she, uh, she got, she's getting through it very well, and she has said that her faith is, is keeping, making everything okay. So um, that's, that's just kind of amazing to me. And I, I bet you guys have all seen similar situations where things have seemed very, di- seemed very difficult, and yet uh, you've walked through them with, with following the Good Shepherd. Um, that's the other thing about a good shepherd. He leads us. Um, and I just said sheep like to follow. And we know his voice. You know his voice. Because you are sheep of his pasture. Um, he's not one of those shepherds behind us with the stick with the crook in it, whacking us, trying to get us to go, or catching our foot, pulling us away from the wrong way. Um, oftentimes he's just ahead of us, calling. Sometimes softly, sometimes a little more firmly. But um, anyway, um, I, I think of when Jesus said in the gospel that I lay down my life so that I can take it up again. When I read that, I, I wondered if he knew how hard it was going to be to lay down his life. I, th- I often think about that prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane. And um, it sounds, when he says he can lay down his life and take it up again, it, it sounds easy. And it obviously wasn't. There was a, a great deal of, of suffering and um, not wanting to do that. But he, he had to do that. Um, he had to do that for our sake, for the sheep, for us. And because he loved us so much. Um, so, 
with that, it's, it's time to remember that it, it is still the Easter season, so happy Easter. And we can be called children of God because of what Jesus did. And that sounds a lot better to me than being a sheep. But on the other hand, I, I think of what Martin Luther said of how we are all both saint and sinner simultaneously. So we are both sheep and children of God. And that makes us pretty bold and awesome sheep. So hopefully when you're coming to church, people will follow you. So <laughs> anyway, um, let us pray. Lord, help us to hear your voice and to follow you. Amen. We would love to have you join us sometime for worship. Here is our parish worship schedule and our contact information. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.